You've seen it in several pedal demos already, and today I finally feature it in all its glory. <laughs> What's going on friends? I'm Sean Pierce Johnson. Welcome back to the channel where today I am finally going to give you all an in-depth feature on this beautiful, beautiful, absolutely stunning Vola Guitar Vosti KJM J2. Now, eagle-eyed viewers and longtime fans of my work, this channel, and what I do in the musical instrument space will know that for the last couple of years, I've been working with Vola Guitar on quite a few different videos for their own YouTube channel. And as a matter of fact, it was a little over a year and a half ago that the Vosti KJM J1, the white version of this, came into my possession. I used it pretty extensively for a good three to five month stretch. Even played it live at church many, many times and was really happy with the performance of it. When I had to send that along to RJ Ronquillo to do his video on it, I was both saddened and heartbroken because I had really come to enjoy what this guitar offered. Well, thankfully, the cats at Vola were open to me using one of these in the collection because there's something else that I'm going to be doing with this guitar in a little bit, but that's not the point of this video today. Today, it's all about this guitar as it exists in its stock form. We are, of course, gonna hear it through cleans, dirties, and a bunch of different cool sounds with pedals, but first, we need to talk about the specs of this incredibly versatile guitar. But before we get there, I just wanna say it would be a great help to me if you gave this video a thumbs up and click the subscribe button. All that stuff really helps the deliverability of my videos and brings more eyeballs to this channel so I can keep featuring cool guitars like this. And with that out of the way, let's talk about it. Quite frankly, the Vosti KJM is my favorite Vola guitar that I've played of all the ones I've had. It just combines a bunch of different features from a bunch of different guitars that I love into one package. And uh, hey, Casper, great job on specking this one. This thing is an absolute beauty. We start with a chambered alder body. So in a way, with the Vosti being Vola's T-style guitar shape, the base model of this guitar could be looked at as a thin line Tele Deluxe. Married to that chambered alder body is a roasted maple neck with a roasted maple fingerboard. Has a nice little skunk stripe on the back and is accented with white dot inlays. And they did a great job with this four bolt neck heel. It's very comfortable, sits nicely in the hand, and you can really reach those higher frets without having to, you know, get your skin dug into in the palm of your hand. Now this is finished in a matte black finish, which is different from the matte white finish that I had. And really, with the accent of gold hardware, this thing just screams luxury. The neck is 25 and a half inches in scale length, and there are 22 stainless steel jumbo frets. I love that stainless steel frets are becoming more of a thing. A Goto 510 whammy bar system is our bridge, and up at the headstock, we have locking gold Goto tuners. The pickups are designed in-house by Vola, the VHC bridge and the VHC neck. And in the middle, we have the VSI, which is a single coil pickup. Then we move to the control cavity, which in and of itself looks very much like your typical tele control layout. We have a single volume, single tone, and now a five-way pickup selector to give us all the tones available from these pickups. But we have a nice little tiny switch right here, which is a coil splitter or a coil tap. I can't remember off the top of my head which one that it actually is. Will editing Sean be able to say something about that? Coil tap. It's a coil tap. But basically, we can take this guitar from being an HSH guitar to being an SSS guitar. So you have access to humbucker tones, single coil tones, all in a semi-hollow design that is just absolutely incredible. Now you've probably gotten tired of hearing me gush about this guitar and are saying to yourself, okay, Sean, prove it. Well, allow me to do so. Let's start by hearing those raw, clean tones. We're going into the Hughes & Kettner Black Spirit 200 that's run into my orange PPC 212 cab, which is mic'd up with a Shure SM57 and a Hilby Designs Boho Active Ribbon Microphone. <laughs>
me show you those same clean tones, except let's go ahead and tap the humbuckers into single coil mode. it's time to hear some dirty tones. Plugging into the Orange Rocker Verb 100, we'll hear both the full voice humbuckers and the five-way switch, and then I'll go ahead and tap those humbuckers, and we can hear the single coil tones. <laughs> striking things about the core sounds of this guitar, to me at least, is the fact that so many sounds are available without having to 
do a whole lot. And that really is a mark that this was a guitar specced by a working, gigging musician. And I've talked with Casper about this before. And essentially, he was designing this guitar to be the only guitar that he would have to be able to take to a session or a gig. And for me, what I also enjoy is the fact that the pickups are lower in output than most of the other guitars with humbuckers that I have in my collection. Having something with a bit lower output means that there's a little bit more play I can get out of with my dirt pedals. I can stack them in different ways. They don't hit the front end of the amp quite as much as, say, my Duncan JBs. They're a nice mid-output level that doesn't crunch things up too much, but also lends itself to some really nice dynamic playing. But what I need to do now is show you all some sounds that I use with this guitar on a regular basis. And I hope that the variety I'm able to show you just will demonstrate how versatile this guitar is and why it's become such a favorite of mine. Thank you. 
friends that is the vola vosti kjm j2 casper jalili signature model this is far and away my favorite vola that i've played in the last couple of years and i've played oz's i've played other vosti's but this one it just bonds with me in such a powerful way i've loved using it in pedal demos to show off different kinds of tonalities with the pedals that i have but it's a nice lightweight guitar that you can play standing up for a very long time. And having recently suffered a little bit of a left shoulder injury, the shoulder that my strap goes over, a lightweight guitar has made all the difference. Now this guitar sees its heaviest use when I play at church. A nice lightweight guitar that I can play for multiple services where we're playing maybe a 40 minute worship set, maybe as long as 45, 50 minutes on any given service. And it just, it keeps up. It has so much range to play with. I can roll back the tone. I can roll back the volume. I can tap the humbuckers, get single coil sounds. It's just a really wonderful guitar that you can coax so many different sounds out of that work in heavier styles of music, more ambient styles of music, more emotive playing, more supportive playing. I'm just, how many more good things can I say about this guitar? I'm so thankful to Greg and Sean at Vola for entrusting this guitar to me, working with me, and I have enjoyed getting to know this brand intimately so much. And I certainly hope you all enjoyed this look at this guitar. It's This video has been a long time coming. I've had it for months. I've used it so much. I am finally glad to give it its flowers. If you enjoyed this video in any way, I would greatly appreciate your support in helping me make better guitar videos for all types of players. You can click the subscribe button and ring the notification bell, or better yet, you can join my email newsletter club. I send links to all my videos direct to your email inbox. All you need to do is go to seanpiercejohnson.com slash email, enter your name and email address, and within a few days, I'll put you into the system and you're part of the club. Oh, and before I forget, Vola just started selling these guitars, well, all their guitars, direct to consumer. And the price on this thing is absolutely insane for what you get. Right now, you can buy one of these direct from Vola for $1149.99. That's a made in Japan guitar with all these specs and features for $1,200 US. I don't think there's a bigger bargain in guitar right now. Thank you all for spending part of your day with me, everyone. I hope you have a great rest of yours. And until we see each other next, I'm Sean Pierce Johnson wishing you all watching great tone, great health, and of course, happy stomping. Cheers, friends. God bless.